When farmers began using tractors and other motorized farm machinery, they became less dependent on animal traction. With less farmyard manure available, many farmers started using chemical fertilizers. No one realized what a dramatic effect this would have. Within a few years, soils lost their organic matter, became hard and compacted. Earthworms and other living things that improved the soil were killed and eels started to drop. Fortunately, several naturally available materials can restore soil quality and help the soil to keep nutrients. One such material is coir waste. Coir is the fiber in the mature coconut husk. After fiber is extracted from coconut husks, a lot of dusty material remains. This coir dust or coir pit contains lots of linen, which is the woody material that gives plants their strength and allows them to stand up. This woody linen takes a very long time to rot or decompose, so it is not considered good to use in farming. Coconut factories often have no idea what to do with this waste. In this video, we will see how we can convert coir waste into good organic fertilizer through composting. Coir pit is particularly useful in places where drought is common, especially if the soil is sandy. Well decomposed coir pit can absorb five times its weight in water. So when applied to the soil, soil holds water much better. I am using coir pith for several reasons. I can easily get the resources needed to make coconut fiber waste compost. Coir pith compost greatly retains water. By applying coir pith compost to our soil, this not only promotes crop growth but also reduces the demand for water. Now that we have seen the importance and benefits of coir pith compost, let us see how to prepare it. Traditionally, coconut husks are immersed in water for several weeks. Once completely soaked, it is taken out and beaten finely with a strong wooden stick to separate the coir pith from the fiber. Some farmers have found a clever way to reduce this hard work. I place the soaked coconut husks on the floor and drive a tractor over it. This helps to separate the coir pith and coir fiber. It saves me both time and labor. In many places, Fibers are separated from the husks with a machine. Coconut fibers are used to make ropes, mats or other products. You can prepare compost on your farm by collecting the dumped coir pith waste. Here we will see how to prepare 100 kilograms of coir pith compost which is enough for a field of 200 square meters. You can adjust the amount according to your needs. Collect the coir pith and sieve it properly until there are no more fibers in it. For 100 kilograms, this will take you just 15 minutes to do. 
If there is any fiber present in the coir pith, it will take longer to decompose. Hence, I sieve it properly till I get only coir dust. Select a shaded area to compost the coir pith, preferably under a tree because the compost will take longer to make if it dries out. If you have a sheltered area, you can also use that. We will build up the compost in five layers. Spread out a first layer of about 20 kilograms of sieved coir pith. You can prepare an organic decomposer that is rich in good microbes. These microbes can break down the lignin into simple sugars and help to make nutrients available to crops. You can make a decomposer with locally available materials. I pour 100 litres of water into a plastic barrel. I add 5 kilograms of cow dung, 10 mashed bananas, 3 litres of cow urine, half a kilogram of jaggery or raw sugar, half a kilogram of flour of any pulse and finally a handful of soil. I stir this twice a day and cover it with a gunny bag. After one week, it is ready for use. Sprinkle 10 litres of organic decomposer on the layer of coir pith. You have to repeat this for each layer. Good microbes need nitrogen to grow. Add 4 kilograms of decomposed poultry waste. You can also use other material rich in nitrogen such as urine, azolla or soya hulls. To speed up the composting, you can add additional good microbes by spreading a slurry of a handful of cow dung over the coir pith bed. Add a new layer of sieved coir and repeat the whole process. In the same way, make five layers. If you don't want to prepare your own organic decomposer, you can decompose the coir pith by spreading 100 grams of mushroom spawn over each layer. Or you can use 100 grams or 10 tablespoons of trichoderma powder as a decomposer for each layer. Wear gloves while adding trichoderma to the coir pith. Sprinkle water onto the heap daily to keep it moist. This is important for a fast decomposition. I pour water on it daily. I take a handful of coir pith from the heap and press it to make a ball. If excess water comes out, it means that it is too moist and I stop watering immediately. But if the coir pith is hard and I am unable to make a ball, then it is not moist enough and I have to water it more. Open up the compost once every 10 days so the stale air trapped inside the compost material can go out and fresh air can come in. The microorganisms like fresh air. After about a month, you can tell that the coir pith is completely decomposed. Firstly, the compost heap will be smaller. The coir pith will have become dark brown and smell like earth. This is how I can easily tell that the coir pith is completely decomposed. Now that we know how to compost coir pith, let us see how to use it. During the last field preparation, apply 100 kilograms of composted coir pith on 200 square meters of soil. For nurseries, Mix one part of coir pith compost 
with four parts of soil before filling the planting bags or seed trays. While transplanting, there is always a risk that the roots may get cut. But when using coir with compost, it is much easier to transplant the seedlings from one place to another without the risk of cutting of seedling roots. To reduce the need for watering, you can also grow vegetables and ornamental plants in coir pit compost for rooftop gardening. Coir pit compost is also useful for growing fruit trees. When planting new trees, add a few handfuls of compost in the planting pits and mix it with the soil. For fruit trees or coconut trees up to 10 years, apply up to 10 kilograms of coir pit compost on the top of the soil once every six months around the base of the tree. For trees older than 10 years, apply up to 15 kilograms once every six months. So, what have we learned? Coir pit degrades so slowly that it is often considered useless for agriculture. But well decomposed coir pit can absorb five times its weight in water. So when applied to your soil, it can hold water much better. To prepare compost out of coir pit, you need to break down the linen. This can be done by good microbes. Spread a first layer of sieved coir pit in the shade. Uniformly apply your decomposer with good microbes onto this layer. Spread nitrogen-rich material such as poultry waste to feed the microbes. You may also sprinkle some cow dung slurry over each layer to further help decompose the coir pit. Add a new layer of coir in the same way, make five layers. Moisten the bed sufficiently for speedy decomposition. Open the compost heap once every 10 days. After about one month, the coir pit will turn dark and will be ready for use. Waste isn't waste until we waste it. By composting Koyapit, we can turn waste into wealth. Since I began to add Koyapit compost, my crops grow very well. My neighboring farmers asked me what fertilizer I used. I told them about the Koyapit compost and they are now buying and using it from me. So, I am also getting more income from that.